art of preparing, cooking, and presenting food. What was once only considered a necessity of life has now been transformed into pleasure, fascination, and art. However, this is just a glimpse into such a complex world. So I want to share with you one of the more interesting subdivisions. Molecular gastronomy, a subdiscipline of food science that is characterized by avant-garde cooking techniques. Molecular gastronomists study the chemical, physical processes that take place when you cook food. These chefs think outside of the box by scientifically examining traditional kitchen techniques and adjusting them as needed. Some techniques include spherification, the process of shaping a liquid into spheres, jellification, the process of turning a substance into a gelatinous form, emulsification, a mixture of two or more liquids that are normally non-mixable, smoking, infusing smoky flavors into foods or creating visual effects, and more. In 2003, a molecular gastronomy New American restaurant opened in Manhattan in the Lower East Side. The chef, Wiley Dufresne, is known for his creativity. One of his most famous dishes is the Everything Bagel, because, well, it looks like an Everything Bagel. If you look closely though, you see that it's not a real bagel. It's actually Everything Bagel flavored ice cream. To create this, the chef took a number of Everything Bagels, crushed them, steeped it in milk, and then proceeded to create ice cream out of the flavored milk. Then he shaped it in the form of a bagel on the plate. Next to it is a small mound of salmon threads, sort of like salmon flavored Klein candy. Where's the cream cheese, you may ask? It's that paper thin wafer over there in the corner. Although it's fascinating, this form of cooking receives a lot of criticism. In order to understand this controversy, we can try and relate it to modern or contemporary art, where many times the limiting traditions of the past have been thrown aside in a spirit of experimentation. You know, I, I have to be honest, and until I watch your show, I never thought of food as an art form. I always thought of food as, uh, you know... Well, no, I think your instincts are right. I mean, artists, you know, somebody who's creating something completely different than anybody else, like Charlie Parker or Jimi Hendrix, you know, nobody had ever made sounds out of a guitar before like Jimi Hendrix, you know. No one had ever made sounds out of a horn like Charlie Parker. They were unique to history. There aren't a lot of people who will ever be that good or that different. You know, Is it, does it have to absolutely be completely different? Because it's almost just doing it really well and with attention to detail and like that, that, that is art. It does come through. So, is it art? Or maybe science? Magic? Well, it's probably a little bit of all of them. And depending on who you ask, it's either ridiculous and over the top or a beautifully refined art form. One of those things that you either love or hate.